Can you make that jump? No yeah. way. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it without the platform too. It's a little bit harder. Whoa. Like just straight on the flat ground. Hey guys, this is an in-depth Bastion guy talking about positioning, target priority, cooldown usage, ultimate usage, map control, how to use your tur trigger discipline, and just about everything. <laughs> We're going to go be going in detail, specifically not just how to use the cooldowns of Bastion, but also just how to play the hero in a dynamic format. He's actually a surprisingly tricky hero to get good value out of, especially in higher ranks. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and enjoy the video. So what, what are your strengths? Uh, mowing down tanks, for sure. Okay, big strength. What else? Um, I guess holding down a position, sure, uh, preventing sure. people from pushing in. Sure, sure. Let's go back to your first point: mowing down tanks. What else are you good at mowing down? Uh, anything. Right. Uh, the turret is right. just the high, high damage. Right. You're, you're essentially prop one of the best DPS heroes, like in terms of one v one heroes during that brief window. So yeah. when it comes to improving your bash and play, what's num the, the number one key? Turret. Right. Turret timing. Right turret timing right there so your entire game sense is built around positioning yourself where you're, your turret's going to get the most value at the lowest risk and then anticipating predicting timing reacting whatever to when the turret is going to get maximum value because as soon as it doesn't as soon as it fails even if you don't get a kill but like you just you just nothing happened like i got i just wasted it then you've mm -hmm. opened up your team to a window of weakness and yourself as well so what are some things that you could do to prevent that from happening? What are some things you need to be thinking about when you're thinking about proper turret timing? Um, enemy team positioning. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I guess if they're like, they were peeking a corner, then they sure. kind of are out in the open. I have time to mow them down. Sure, um, sure. Let's say enemy team cooldowns. Sure. Uh, Which cooldowns? Kiri pops his Suzu, sure. for an example. Sure, um, okay. Genji, after his deflect. <clears throat> Right, right. Now here's a question for you. Do you need to get a kill for the turret form to be good value? No, I don't think so. Um, if you pop turret and the Orisa fortifies and the Genji deflects, but you don't get a kill, what do you think? I think good value. I think so too. You pop turret, force nade, recall on the enemy tracer, enemy Ana. What do you think? Yeah, good, good value. Right, you're noticing a pattern here, right? Like, even if you don't get a kill, if the cooldowns that you're forcing, let's say you you pop turret and they all S key off a of point and you guys take uh, an off angle because of you popping turret. Probably decent value as well. Depends on the angle, of yeah. course. But it's all about, it's a resource trade. If I'm able to use one powerful cooldown and force two powerful cooldowns and not risk my life in the process, or I'm able to do a lot of damage or be able to clear them out or force them back up or you know whatever, that's good value. That's good value. Um, now quickly running down your other abilities, your mouse one, uh, when you're not in turret form is obviously a little bit tricky to aim. I do think, uh, are you familiar with the term trigger discipline? Uh, yeah, just, uh, I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory. Yep. Just not yep. spraying. I mean, <clears throat> right. just waiting very for the important right line when you're not, shots. Very important when you're not in turret form, right? Because okay. the selective shots that do, 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 it's like a semi automatic rifle in Call of Duty, right? <laughs> Very important that you're actually landing your shots with that one. And the only way to practice your mechanics with that one is to not hold it down like you're in turret form again. What about your grenade? Grenade? I use my grenade a lot for mobility. Okay. Um, okay. I, I do toss it in before turret, or I guess that there's a little tech where, like, as you're. Um, turning into turret form, you can shoot a nade. I do that a lot. Right, right, right. That that animation cancel, right? And it launches you yeah. for a different angle, right? Now, what else can grenade be used for? Um, clearing out, like getting someone weak who's around a corner. <laughs> yep, yep. What else? Uh, if a tracer dives you, or a Genji dives you, or anything dives you, just it's a good one v yeah, one tool, right? Like oh. it's just it's good. Like it might force a deflect or a recall or a couple of blinks or so on. So like. Always be thinking, it's always about return on investment. Was that a good use of the, the, the sticky grenade provide enough mobility to justify my using it now and not in two seconds when I see a better opportunity, right? And that's the question yeah. you need to be constantly asking yourself. Now, final thing we'll talk about um, is the ultimate. How do you use Bastion's ultimate? Uh, Ana every time. Slowest, not every time. squishiest support. Time. Right. DPS yeah, or yeah. support, the slowest thing. Okay, when do you use the ultimate? 
Um, this might be a bad habit of mine. I use it like right before a fight. Okay. I feel like maybe I should be using it like mid fight because people are kind of distracted. It's always but... better mid fight. Why? Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess because people are distracted. Because We're people using are distracted. Cooldowns. Right now, it's always better mid fight, but you might not always be able to do the better. Yeah. Version. True. Why? Mm -hmm. Um. Look at their cup. Cause... Look at their cup. What might be dangerous about a mid-fight Bastion ult versus their comp? Mm, tracer. Right, tracer right. Tracer killing me. Right. If you yeah. let them set up and then pop it mid-fight, that Tracer Genji might have positioning to be able to kill you in that ultimate. So yeah. it's always the highest re reward to do it mid-fight. Always. Almost without exception. However, it's not sometimes worth the risk. Most comps aren't going to have the mobility and speed to punish you for using it. So you should use it mid-fight most of the time, right? However, there are exceptions. Enemy comp is a perfect example. If you know where Genji and Tracer are, and they're not anywhere near you, wait mid-fight. But yeah. if they're in a position where they could get to you, yeah, you might have to use it early, or you can big brain them and use it like a Junkrat Reptire, just use it on your body, right? Um, mm -hmm. You know, is it the highest value? Maybe, maybe not, but... Yeah, that's the idea. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, oh, definitely. Okay, does. let's uh, let's take a look. <clears throat> um, last question, I will say, and, and this is something that's a big part of every uh, VOD review I do for really every hero. What is your range signature? In other words, what range are you most effective at? This is a little bit of a tricky one. Say mid, mid, yeah, close, right? mid, close, mid. It depends, really, doesn't it? Like yeah. you look at the enemy composition, do you want to be getting close to Genji or Tracer or Arisa? Yeah, not really. Not no. really, okay. Do you want to be playing a million miles away from Ana? Uh, kind of depends, right? Yeah. Um. So what if they're in Cypress? <laughs> you yeah, know I just what I'm wanted, yeah, yeah, angle get off. Right, player. right, 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 right. May, you know, so on. It, like you want to get up on their teeth. So Bastion is like a lot of DPS heroes sort of dynamic it depends on what you're playing versus which is why you need to immediately find out okay they're on this i need to adjust this i take my like take my positioning you see the enemy team you see your team i want you to predict is this turret going to force cooldown slash get a kill i think it'll for sure force cooldown i think they're trying to push in yeah 100 kind of my way of saying back off 100 100 and see the funny thing about this is they have to make a decision do we hit them right now where they're fragile and fight into a Bastion, or do we wait for the Bastion to waste his turret form, but we give the enemy team time to set up. So you've yeah. done a really good job here, putting them in a really awkward position. Do you see that? They have to make it a really tough decision. By the way, trigger discipline. Watch it right here. Watch this Tracer duel. You see, you're shooting even when you're dragging your crosshair across. That tells yeah. me that your your finger is glued to the mouse one, right? Sometimes it's okay yeah. if you're breaking a shield or shooting an Arisa or whatever, or obviously when you're in turret form, right? 99% of the time, you're just going to hold it down. But no, no, absolutely not. That was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I can't wait to see this. <laughs> that was absolutely phenomenal. All right. What do you think? Um, is it I good, think is it a good person? I think good. good angle. They're good. not looking at me. Okay, why are they not looking at you? Uh, because they're looking at someone else on my team. Yeah, you sorry. Um, I got the impression that you're sorry. I was sorry. walking forward, but now she's turning around. So now I'm not so sure. Yeah, Here's a good question for you. So you 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 play a lot of the time. Bastion's kind of slow. Okay, so yeah. the angles that you can take are limited. That being said, there, mm. there's a lot of time where a really good off angle can really hit different, right? So then my yeah. question is when do you utilize this off angle? So I'm going to preface that this angle is perfect. It's perfect range. You've got perfect cover. If you get slept or shot, your healers can support you. It's, it's delightful. But now is not the optimal time. It's not bad, but it's not optimal. When is the optimal time? I don't know, maybe... I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe waiting a little bit longer. Maybe Why? wait for that Arisa to move so I can get the Ana. Or and maybe wait right. for them to push in more so they're more distracted. Because right now I'm yes, kind of the yes, first that's thing it. they're looking at. That, yeah, that's okay. it. You are the tank. And the irony yeah, is if yeah. you're the, the tank configuration 
is not what you want to be utilizing. You because 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 really think about it. Like who's the kill threat here? Is it your Zarya? No, no, it's you. Yeah, me. Yep. You're the you're you're the killer. So everything, honestly, every time that's why Bastion can be a mix hit or miss play thing to play around because everything revolves around you getting a kill or forcing cooldowns. Um. So really, you're t everyone's playing around you, and so that you're you're the you're the star of the show. You're the the prima donna. So you go, you arrive fashionably late when everybody's distracted, and you get the five k. Mm -hmm. You kind of see what I'm saying. You go arrive yeah. fashionably late when the Ana is distracted, so she can't land sleep dart. The Genji's distracted, so he doesn't land shurikens. The wrist is distracted, so maybe she doesn't fortify fast enough. She gets caught with her pants down. You kind of see what I'm saying, though, right? Or they don't consider your positioning because they're focusing on Zarya, so there's no cover and they just die. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. You got to think yeah. about my uh -huh. impact on the battlefield, the risk versus reward, and the higher the risk. And not only are you playing Bastion, but you're playing Bastion on the flank. The later that engagement needs to be. So what you're doing now is excellent, but the timing is bad. So let's. You tell me. I'm gonna play this at 0 0.5. You tell me when you should have peaked. And by the way, this is why you need to be looking through walls. Right here, you look through walls. Okay, okay. I see. I see. I see. I see. I hear. I hear. And then I go. Right. So you tell me when. Mm -hmm. All right. Now they're just looking at me. Right. That kind of ruined everything. What, what, um, what, 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 right now. Go? Yes, right now. Yeah, Perfect Zarya's time. up there. Yeah. Perfect time. But look at what's happening. You should be going yeah, now. Yeah, the Genji's on. Yeah. But you're out. And then I like this too. That This is really cute. Now, this is subtle. I don't know if you did this on purpose, but this is cute. So you don't have turret form. Tank form. Mm -hmm. So what is your range signature now? <laughs> A little bit longer, a little longish bit longer. range. So obviously, you know, maybe you don't want to repeak this angle anyway, but definitely you're going to go for a slightly longer sightline, right? Something mm -hmm. more equivalent to like a Cassidy or something like that, and less equivalent to like you know uh, a Reaper, essentially. Um, okay. <laughs> nice. Can you make that jump? No yeah. way. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it without the platform too. It's a little bit harder. Like Whoa. just straight on the flat ground. Okay. Yeah, let me know what you think about this this high ground right here. It's tricky. I can okay. either get a lot okay. of value okay. or get screwed. Well, the, okay, okay. But we already know how to do with that, right? We already know what to do with that because that's exactly how we would have described, at least to an extent, this goal right here, right? Yeah. A little bit higher risk, higher reward. So we already know what our mentality needs to be with this type of a flank. Should you be peeking right now? Oh, well, they're all dead. Probably not. Probably should be hiding. Yeah. Probably Waiting should be hiding, right? Yeah. Or, or even just playing a little bit further. You know, I don't yeah. know. I, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not, you know, the, the smartest person when it comes to Bastion, but I'm, my gut says this year is probably not worth the risk and the damage that we're going to take. Cause it's screaming, Hey, over here, guy. You know, like, don't, 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 yeah. like, like, like be, be the, be the be the, uh, dude, be the bastion assassin you know what i'm saying like especially yeah. if you can reposition like this because i i think if oh no 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 no, no. <laughs> okay oh. okay wait this is my one thought process i remember i had <sighs> um the reason i'm sitting right here with the wall behind me is because i knew arisa would try to spear me off the edge so that's why i didn't go to the corner right but i agree right. this isn't really a good right, spot to right be in it's, it's like you're missing the forest for the trees because you're thinking about the micro interactions but the macro interactions is that you should be late here. But even beyond that, if I look at your team here, your team is doing jack all. This is as close to a 1v5 as you could possibly get with Bastion. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, you're definitely getting the micro interaction. I don't want to be javelined off. But you know what? The great way to prevent yourself from being javelined off is to not peek the arena. <laughs> At yeah all, right and just wait because this is like oh it's it's like it's good value but it could have been so much more right it could have been so much more and you would have not even needed to give up the high ground you know anyway i i think you i feel that you should have been punished for that you didn't so you yeah know, i agree i'm glad <laughs> but uh you know, I don't know what do you think um okay my thought process was they're pretty far back they want to push in um so i'm gonna prevent them uh, from pushing in with this ult so what does that do for your team i guess gives us more time on the on the point you're using an ultimate for five percent capture percentage is it worth it <laughs> okay no never mind take that back <laughs> now we, we uh, have, there's definitely nuance to this though because we talked about how it's like there's always a risk that Genji tracer finds you right so yeah that's okay so think two steps ahead now Kinji tracer if i pop ult mid fight will kill me unless i am where hiding hiding um, with where would team. you be yeah where would you be 
I, I think my position is good because my team's around me and they're far back. So if a Genji Tracer uh, pushes in, my team should have me covered. But that's not. But that's assuming that you do it now. What about mid fight? They're not going to have that oh, support, right? Because they're going to be distracted yeah. and focused on other things. So then think again. How do we use your Bastion ult if we want to go for mid fight? I don't know if you can. I really don't know. But you don't know either. And so you need to go try this out and figure out whether this actually works or whether it's a complete troll. Yeah. I think I would just kind of go back, but then I'm like, oh, I'm so slow. I'm wasting time. It's a 4v5 while I'm gone. Kind of my mentality. What That's why here? I, what about I do. Here? What about here? What about here and hide? Listen, <laughs> wait one. for the walls, and then pop your ult as soon as you hear Genji Tracer elsewhere. Because can they get up here? Yes, but it takes time. Yeah. You know, it takes time, it takes effort. And if you're able to wait, and listen, 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 pull the trigger. Now, it, they probably won't get to you in time. True, yep. That's something that I want you to think about. Because, again, I don't know if that's a good strategy, but, again, you don't either. And this is like the whole learning process. This is thinking of ideas and, and trying them out and seeing if they work, right? Um, would it be, oh, no, the Genji Tracer scout me, and then I just have to drop, and then I have to change up plans? Maybe. But I think it's at least worth a shot. I don't know. You kind of see what I'm saying, though, right? Yeah, no, I gotcha. Okay. The execution is really good, though. That's exactly what you need to do. So, people in chat, if you want to bash an ult early, I mean, honestly, even bash an ult mid-fight, it's the one, two, dance, and then the three, right? Always the one, two, then the three. Because what, what, what's the intention with this, with, this, uh, with this sequence here? What is this? Trying to, yeah, push her uh, direction, and then once you know where she's going, you hit her with that third. Right. So, after that second one drops, the two force her to move in a direction and then it makes her next pattern predictable so then the yeah, third shot jumps, will almost yeah. always land right so one two three that's kind of like a good a good rhythm and you can generally kill most squishies like that so um i mean obviously there's counterplay around that but uh, but i look at the enemy comp and i'm like i'm not scared of roadhog if he doesn't have hook I'm not scared of Ana if she doesn't have sleep dart. So if I can play in a position to where I can dodge those cooldowns, bait those cooldowns, or play a position where I can peek late after those cooldowns have been used, then I'm good to go. Yeah, I need to think like that. I definitely don't. And, and there's, well, okay, I'm throwing a lot at you right now. So what I want you to do is, as this review goes on, we'll have a better idea of what your priorities need to be and what your next step skills need to be. Because there's okay. so much that's gone on in this review, just even from the get-go, you're not going to be able to do all these things at once. It's just not possible. So just we'll, we'll have a sense of a priority for you. Okay? Okay? I, no. just, I remember just not knowing what to do with myself here like where to position like okay I don't know. Let, let's 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 this is I'm, i could tell you but I, I want you to tell yourself i think i think this would be a lot more impactful so we again we think about the strengths of your hero your hero i look at the enemy composition and you can see it right here how much pressure do you get out of this right here not a lot not no. a lot right it's it's just it's it's a squishy but it's it's just Far, he, he's too yeah. far, right? It's not. It's not. You don't do bad damage because he does back off. But there's just, it's not a lot, right? It's not a lot. So then, okay. So then, what should we have done? Uh, held on to it. Waited. Held on to it and done what? Just stood here. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. That's. I don't know if I should have stood there. Or maybe followed my Zarya. Maybe followed my Zarya. It might have been. Okay, what play. would you have done if you'd followed your Zarya? Um, I could either pop turret. Get the Kuriko or she with the Reaper. Okay, then what's what's Hogs gonna happen? Asleep. Best case scenario, he dies. Worst case scenario, what's gonna happen when you when you pop turret on the Reaper? Uh he fades. Right. So what have you done? Worst case scenario. Pop a cool yeah, get him to pop a cooldown. Cooldown for cooldown, but what's the difference? Cooldown for cooldown, but where is the Reaper and where is your team? Your Reaper was here. When you pop your turret, where does the Reaper go? Yeah, he backs off. He backs off. And so then now your Zarya has more space to threaten their backline. Yeah. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. A lot of it kind of comes back to space. And I know that's a little bit of a tough concept to understand. But if you use, if you force a cooldown for a cooldown, but your team able, is able to walk forward and get space off of it, we like that. And then what mm -hmm. you do from here, we drop. I mean, honestly, you drop and you go, oh, we don't even need turret. 
sit right here shooting with your Zarya. Is this a good range for your hero when not in turret form? Yeah, that's a perfect range. It's, yeah. it's not bad. Now, are you going to be to Cassie at this range? Maybe, maybe not. It'd be, but yeah. it's not. It's not bad, right? It's not bad. Okay. To keep him away. Yeah. You're right. And then right now, turret form. You know, you could turret form this Reaper. You could walk out, swing wide. You could turret form back here, play around Sleep Dart. Right. You have the space here, and you're like, well, would I get help? Would I get healing? Yes, you would. You would. You have your Zenyatta here. You have your Zarya here. Yes. What I challenge you to do is whenever you come into situations like these where you really truly don't know what to do, think of an idea to try. Okay. Right? Double back, walk with your Ana, pops your turret form on this hog, and see if you can force cooldown vape, you know, whatever. Is this trolling if you play it with cover? Probably not. I don't know. Go find out. Mm hmm. You know? I'll come up with like mini plays in my head. Come up with mini plays on the moment. And, and then if you have the opportunity to look at some of your replay codes afterwards, even just for a minute or two, uh, you know, just be like, okay, why, why did that work? Was, was that a good idea? Was I trolling? Okay, well, I can't do that versus Roadhog because I'm going to get hooked and then I'm going to get naded and so I'm just going to die. You know, or, okay, no, that was good because, you know, just, just come up with mini plays because right now this is, this feeding is not worst case scenario. This is a worst case scenario because we learn nothing from this. You see that? Not only do we get nothing, essentially, but we also learn nothing from that. And yeah. that's, that's the end of it, right? No. The nade, yeah, I was gonna you say. You just see, you just see, like, I guess, blue or red or whatever, and you're just like, I just throw it in that general direction? No. Yeah. Right, right here, nade. On Reaper. Immediately. Yeah, damn. You know? Would that have saved your life? Too. Yeah, maybe, I think so. Maybe, I... but 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 I'm not, I'm not sure. But certainly would have been better than what we did. That being said, you look at their comp. What do you think? Kind of tricky, isn't it? They got a flanker. They got a little bit of range. Yeah. It's, it's awkward. Cover matters always. So whatever you do, please cover. But look at their comp. Where do you think you should go? And obviously, you need to know that before you use your grenade, don't you? Yeah. You have all you need to know on your screen right now. So what should you do? You know, Tracer's on the flank, you know where Cassidy is, you know where Hog is. Let's go. I I don't know. Come on. Um think, try. Should you be here? <clears throat> shouldn't be here. Maybe maybe I go, yeah, in that tunnel. Here? Or I don't know. I, my my thought is always just stick with high my risk, high reward. Tracer's gonna high risk, me. high reward. Yeah, high risk, high reward. That's high risk. With, with high turret, risk. with turret. If you don't have turret here, you're you're trolling. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with turret, turret, grenade. But 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 that's the thing is with turret and grenade, this works. And that would change whether you use grenade here or not, doesn't it? Because if you pop mm -hmm. around this with grenade and turret, I I think you might actually win this. You would get hooked, but I, I think you might actually I get win hooked. It. Yeah. You think so? I, I think, and I then think who, who do I burn in this? Did I just burn Hog? You would burn, you'd force Tracer recall. You'd force Tracer to drop. You might even force okay. Roadhog to drop. High risk, high reward. Could you die? Yeah. Yes, 100%. Mm -hmm. But your supports have LOS of you in here, and they have LOS of this guy here. They can help you. High risk, high reward. Low risk, yeah. low reward. Is it this? No, this sucks. <laughs> yeah. I like this position in theory, just not what, with what's happening right now. Right? Mm -hmm. What about this or this? Ooh. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, low risk, low reward, off. right? Low risk, low yeah. reward, right? Very safe. Good, good. It's okay value, right? Yeah, right. it's like a, a mid tier, mid tier position. You see, the funny thing is, is when I when I said about this, I was fixing to say no, 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 and then you were like, well, actually, you know, for a split second, and then I actually was like, wait, you know, actually, I can see this actually working if you've got turret <laughs> and grenade, right? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You can always you should you don't 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 just listen to me. You know, think about this stuff. Try this stuff because obviously I I wasn't thinking it through here either. Okay. Nice. Decent value. Nice. Now, no hook, no turret. Where should you be? Uh, back. Do you need to be back? Look at how far away. Look at how far away they are. How about here? Yeah. Maybe, okay. So maybe or here? up a little bit. Right. But it's all about the distance that you have to play. Right. The distance that you need to play right now. It doesn't mean you need to be AFK. You just need to be playing more to your range, which now is more long, not short. So you 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 back off to here, 
But this is just, what's the problem with this peak here? This position isn't horrible, but what's the problem with doing this? Just out in the open. No cover, big. right? No cover yeah. whatsoever. All right. Uh, the range is good. That's exactly what you want to do. <laughs> knowing the situation right now, knowing the battlefield, like let's say, let's give you, let's give you a fair shot right now. Okay, so you know they're on point right now. Where should you be? Maybe up upright, that little high oh, ground. I was like, thinking the exact same thing. See, you and I are the same wavelength, right? Because you know where they're positioned, right? You know where they're positioned. Mm -hmm. That was before it was horrible. If I go down up here now or right, right, right now, because now you're going oh late, late. You yeah. see it? As soon as my Winston jumps, as soon as my Symmetra goes, then I go late because I am the teeth of this comp. I go here, oh my gosh. No sleep, dark, yeah, no, that, they're oh just cooked. It's over. That's the problem here. You know? Yeah. The, the, I think the, the, my mentality was stay with the, the sim ult, get value with it. But... Right, but the sim ult will enable other things other that will things, indirectly yeah. help you regardless. You kind of see what I'm yeah. saying? Um, and I think especially you have to consider that like your supports aren't, you know, Moira Lucio. They, they can help you when you're split, even as long as you're playing within their LOS. Wah, even this is just not great. Like, it, it feels like we're just. We need to be a little bit more reactive uh, at Nade. Yeah. yeah, everything's falling apart. Yeah, everything's falling apart, yeah. Then obviously here you don't have your cooldowns, and so you're stuck with where you can go. You can't really dual tracer. This is good, but obviously your positioning is bad just because you know you started off on a bad foot. At this point, it's like it's too yeah. late to fix it, you know? Now it's just not too late. Circles. But see, like here, maybe I would go top right again, even though I don't have yeah. turn one, and just go tink, 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 tink. Maybe that's better than where I'm right, right now, because I think right yeah, now... Yeah, it's just over time, like, okay, point. Like, yeah, God, yeah. Okay. I don't even know. So... Sit with Ryan. We talked about a lot of stuff about your approach to play at the start, but for Bastion specifically, we've talked about a ton of stuff, and you're going to have this to be able to look back and go over again. But for you, what are your priorities? Let's aim for three priorities for skills for you. Um, I really like the, the mini plays when, when I don't know where to position or, or what to do come up with a mini play where to go what where I'm trying to get value think about stuff to try don't be scared to try stuff that's how you get if you want to be great that's what you need to do if you want to be uh having fun <laughs> that's what you want to do but it's the best of both worlds all right all right <laughs> I agree with that one that was a big one all right what else not not wasting need and turret. Mm -hmm. I feel like I pop them a wasting too much need, too early. Turret. Think ahead of time Think what ahead for you're sure. looking for. Um, and I'm I'm gonna cheat here. I'm gonna feed you the third. And that starts with um position. Late peaks, hide, considering enemy range, cover usage, etc. Because you guys, you, you saw even how like we're using our turret and even our nade was changing based off of how we wanted to position. Mm -hmm. To me, that's the thing. The, 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 the Everything revolves, excuse me, around positioning. Because even with Bastion, like you have to use your nade to reposition. So if you, if you don't know how to position, you don't know how to use your nade. You kind of see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if because there might be a fight where you're like, well, I don't need to go high ground. Okay, so then you can do whatever you want with Nade. I can use my yeah. Okay. Right, and then your turret form. Like, you, how do you use your turret form when you're deciding I'm going to play distance this fight? Well, probably really, really, really late. Right, no need to rush at all. Just ping, 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 ping. Turret form is like a defensive cooldown. But if you're fighting in a really, really aggressive flank, you're probably not doing anything until you turret form. You're hide, 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 hide. Bam! Right, immediately turret form. Do you see that? yeah so everything yeah. revolves around that even your ultimate right like do i want to ult this fight okay then that changes how i use my cooldowns right we talked about a lot and i, I want to encourage you to work at these things one at a time one at a time not all three at the same time it's gonna be hard to not have my stupid whiny voice in the back of your head uh saying like all the things that you remember you're like oh shoot i remember don't don't, don't worry about it don't worry about it. don't judge yourself you know because you, you, we're trying to build skills one step at a time there was a lot of good things about your bastion play your mechanics honestly were not too bad uh uh, uh some of the 
creative positions that you were taking, some of the angles that you were taking were really, really impressive. Your target priority was really good. I saw a lot of times where you'd start to lock on like a Ramatra and a Tracer would just show up and you just instantly pivot to shooting the Tracer. A lot of Bastion players don't do that. And that is a huge problem because you, you, you see, like you saw there, like, yes, you could burn Ramatra shield really fast, but forcing a recall is probably more valuable. Um, yeah. And you were really, really good at that. Um, when you were really focused on your Bastion ults, they were really tight. The one, two, three, perfectly done. Couldn't have done it better myself. And when you're focused on your grenade mechanics, your grenade mechanics are also really, really tight.